Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new episode for our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024, as we continue our road to glory run with Farsley Celtic for now in the championship. Um, we are on the edge of relegation. Absolutely could not be any closer without actually being in relegation. Uh, and unfortunately, we have two relatively tough teams, although they are two teams that we have probably played the best against uh, over the course of the season in, in a way. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, it is the last two games of the season. I, I've already played through everything. There just wasn't much to talk about, much to see. Lots of losses. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll watch this semi-exciting conclusion here uh, in just a moment. Um, I decided to open up on the finding screen because there's nothing to show here. So I figured I'd show you this. We got 1.2 mil in the bank, so that's awesome. But let's go look at our schedule. And I'm going to go through what I talked about. The last game you guys saw was the Sheffield United game up here. Barely lost to them. That might be a point or or three that uh, is going to come back and haunt us at some point, but we'll see. Uh, we went up against Plymouth, lost to them two to nothing. We went up against Hull, lost to them two to one. Went up against Stoke, lost to them four to nothing. Of course, at this point, we get the little message that says, you know, I'm afraid to experiment, blah, blah, blah. So we went back to the 5-2-3 DMY that actually got us through a really good November. And immediately got a win against Blackburn, two to one. Uh, we got a goal from Jones and a goal from Chuck Wuma in that game. So good stuff there. And then that formation just fell apart. Uh, we lost to Bolton, who is also in the relegation. That is a absolute was a must win. And it, we just got annihilated in that game. Uh, we lost to Watford, but of course they're up there at the top. West Brom was another winnable game. Uh, we lost to them one to nothing. And then we lost to Bournemouth three to two. So again, I swap formations. We went back to our tried and true 424 that I just kind of swapped off of. And as you can see, results so far, we did get four goals against Leicester. Unfortunately, four goals was not enough. Uh, we did get a pair of goals from Owusu, a goal from Montgomery, and a goal from Bennett in this game. Uh, we then finally got us a victory again. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I skipped one, a very important one. Before, you know, right after we swap formations, maybe we should just swap formations every game, apparently, because every time we swap formations, we at least get one win, uh, just about. Uh, we swap formations. We did get the win against Reading here. Very, very big against Reading. Uh, James Jones, Taylor, and Munns picking up goals in that one. Uh, win at Wigan, we beat them 3-1 to one with a pair of goals from Bennett and a goal from Munns. Uh, they got a close loss against Birmingham, even though we absolutely dominated them on the XG side of things. Should have gotten the win. Um, just, they got lucky, in my opinion. Quite frankly, they did. And so we did pick up a loss there. Then we did pick up a draw against Burnley, who was ranked third or fourth at the time. So really good draw there, quite frankly, uh, especially away from home. Uh, Taylor and Bennett picking up the goals there. Bennett picking up the game-saving goal, uh, although both of our goals did come after going down by two goals. So that was a good, good run there. Uh, going into the Burnley game, we did have a very good uh, team meeting, talking about our you know, challenging, saying, hey, look, guys, let's get this going. Let's get, let's, let's get uh, we got a chance here, but we still we've still got work to do type of thing. So that went pretty well. Our last two games of the season are against Bristol City. Uh, last time we played Bristol City, we... Where were they? I just saw... Okay, we beat them 2-1. to one. Now that was with the 5-2-3 DM wide formation. Uh, but it was away from home. So this is a home game. So maybe we'll see what that does. Uh, and then the last couple times we've played Norwich, we lost to them 0-1 to one here back in December. But we beat them 2-1 to one, uh, back in uh, August. Now that was the Carabao Cup. They might not have been playing their starters. Who knows? Uh, but on the aggregate... We're two to two, you know. So if we could get a win against Bristol City, again, we know that's not impossible, and we can get a draw against Norwich, I think we've got enough to secure ourselves. Uh, we'll take a look at the competition here, and we can kind of determine that for sure. So yeah, because we have such a good goal differential over all three of these guys down here at the bottom, being a negative twenty-three, uh, if we get the win um, and the draw, then that gives us the uh, that gives us four points, puts us on forty-five, and even if Burnsley wins both of their final two games and gets six points, they would be behind us on goal differential. So we do have work to do. Unfortunately, any sort of slip up here probably means these guys pass us. I was taking a look at uh, the schedules. Uh, is that in here? Do, 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 do. Uh, here we go. Uh, Barnsley is playing Coventry, who is pretty low ranked. I think they're ranked like 19th or 20th. Uh, Bolton is playing Cardiff, also pretty low. Oh, we can see it right now. Sorry, I didn't see the ranks over here. Coventry is ranked 17th. Cardiff is ranked 16th, so two... Definitely winnable games for Barnsley and Bolton. And then the other team is Preston, who's playing Bournemouth. It is at least ranked second. So Preston, Preston, we would hope that they would lose. But uh, really the big one is just looking at um, Barnsley. They're the ones that at the moment is, it has the best chance of catching us. So anyway, 
Um, nothing really exciting to talk about as far as transfers or anything. I, I guess that's not entirely true. We can go take a look at some transfers real quick. I did go and bring in uh, a bunch of 18 year olds. Uh, we had uh, the little thing that says, hey, here's all the 18 year olds that are available. So we went and looked at them. Uh, obviously, we still have a few guys coming in next season just based on the timing, and they just weren't able to come in during the January transfer window, which is unfortunate. Well, so we'll see what those guys do next season as well. Uh, but we got first guy, Andy Watts. Uh, he comes in here as a center back, uh, right back, or defensive midfielder. Technically, as a tagging midfielder on the right-hand side as well. Uh, Andy Watts here is one and a half stars, maybe two star, uh, up to a four and a half star ability. So maybe not the most amazing player, but I mean, he's costing us very little, so we're going to see what he can do. Uh, next up is Harry Bone. He comes in here. He can play all across the back and defensive midfield. Uh, he could be as high as two and a half star current ability. Uh, definitely five star potential as well uh, is, is a possibility. So we will see what he's capable of as well. I mean, honestly, if we just hit on like two of these, I'm happy. If we hit on two of these guys, I'm happy. Uh, next up comes up Lamar Kimball, uh, 17 years old from Arsenal. Uh, it's a good center back, uh, defensive midfielder or a right back. Uh, again, potentially two stars now. Uh, but could get as high as five stars as well. Seven, like I said, 17 year old, six foot one, not bad. Uh, Harry Bone coming from Man United. Andy Watts coming from Aston Villa. Uh, we then uh, bring Louis uh, Scorgi in here from Sunderland. Uh, he can play a right winger, or right back, I should say, and he can play a left winger, which is very strange. I'm assuming these are maybe one of these is inverted or something like that. But his current ability is two, maybe two and a half stars. Could also go up as high as five stars at some point. Uh, and then finally, we have uh, Sam Remington comes in here as a right back, or sorry, a right winger or a uh, striker. Uh, current up two and a half star, maybe a potential or current ability going up to five star potential ability. I mean, finishing thirteen. I mean, he's not. He's still got a lot to, to grow, right? He's still got a lot ahead of him. Uh, we'll see what he can develop into. Again, a lot of these guys are minimal gambles, so not too worried about throwing a little bit of you know zero dollar money at them. The only thing we're paying for is their uh, salary. So uh, if they they flop, then they flop, and it's not a big deal. Still got a 30% selling clause for Connolly. Are we ever going to bring Connolly back? I doubt we'll bring Connolly back. Connolly is actually not worth hardly anything anymore. He, uh, I mean, he still has four-star development a potential, but he's only two-star now. I think we've actually moved past Connolly, which is so shocking for me to say. Remember back when he was worth like a million bucks? Um... How much can we get for this? I mean, honestly, at this point, since he's worth so little, we'll sell what we can. Get as much as we can for that. Oh, did it not actually sell? There we go. Uh, we'll get some money for him. Uh, might as well. It's it's something. Um, and I can just throw that all into the wage budget. It's not like it's going to matter that much. Really, the big story is, obviously, surviving first and foremost, and then seeing what kind of kind of budgets the board gives us going into next season. All right, without all that said, let's jump into this next game. Um, this is not the team we're bringing. Uh, or is it? Let me think. Did I? No, I need to bring Peters in here. Peters has been playing well. He goes on the left. Uh, is Jones? No, Jones is not. We need Jones in this game, to be honest. But he is not looking healthy enough to bring in. Um, hmm. I don't know if I trust Thomas here at all. I really don't. I really don't. Talbot, how long can you play? I mean, I almost trust Talbot more than Jones at this point. McNeil, McNeil could play. Yeah, let's bring McNeil in. Let's see what McNeil can do here. I just don't trust Thomas Asante at all. He has been so bad for us. Um... Bennett's on 16 goals. I wish just picked up a handful of goals. Not not really the the striker, the amazing striker that we were hoping for, but it is what it is. I hate that our pairs in the middle are not working well together, but not a lot of other options for us right now. And Aconqua has been atrociously bad through this through this run. So, all right, I think this is the team we're going to bring, though. We got Aconqua on go. Jaquim on the left, Bellows on the right, Lloyd and Taylor in the middle, Montgomery Munns ahead of them. Peters on the left wing, McNeil on the right wing, and Bennett and Awusu up front. Let's go. I'm not sure how I feel, guys. I don't feel super confident. I'm not going to lie, but we have beat this team before, so we know we're capable of beating them again, especially at home. But 
we also beat them with a different formation that we're running today. So I still think this is our just our best. I mean, the board likes this formation better because it's more of an attacking formation. Um, they really hated it when we were running some of those other formations, quite frankly. But we'll see. If we do get relegated, there's a good chance that I get fired because I did promise the board we would avoid relegation to try to get a little bit extra money. Billows with the corner kick. We need this, guys. We need this. Chakuma. Awusu. Fourth goal of the season for Awusu. That is... Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? How in the world do you take that away? Okay. Oh, by the way, RXG has, I think, 15th or 16th? Maybe 17th, something like that. Definitely out of relegation. So we have been getting FM'd a bit over the course of the season, as as you would expect, because that just feels like how, that's how, the, how the game likes to treat us. If they come down here and score a goal right now after we got a terrible offsides call, I'm going to be annoyed. I would say a draw in this game probably isn't quite good enough. Barnsley is currently winning. Of course they are. Yeah. That is not good for us. Conquo with the goal kick. It is rainy today. Awusu heads it down. Mons. There's McNeil. McNeil's already injured in this game, which is not great. Mons kicks it up to Awusu. Awusu is not offside. Penalty. 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 Thank you. He practically held on to him to, get him, to keep him from going past. We've got to score on this penalty. We have to capitalize on this. I really need to get McNeil out. We just don't have anybody else that can play over there. Oh my goodness. Is this how this game's gonna go? We're gonna get offside calls and we're gonna get um we're gonna get missed penalties. I mean we're gonna lose this game and it's gonna just feel like absolute garbage because we had no business losing this game. We deserve to win this game. Corner kick coming in from Billows. There we go. Caleb Taylor. Finally, we're going to get a goal that sticks. <laughs> is this, this one going to count? I think this one's going to count. All right. Good stuff. I really need to get McNeil out of there. I'm going to try and see if we can make it to halftime. But we don't use up one of our stoppages here. Chakuma up to Peters. Back to Chakuma. Gets it over to Lloyd. We're going to have to take a really hard look at our team going into next season because obviously this team is not going to be good enough. Uh, I, I don't know that we're going to be good enough to try to do this again. Now, granted, we have young players that are going to get better. There we go. Bennett with his 17th goal of the season. That came from an assist from McNeil. Glad we left McNeil out there. Uh, but I was trying to say is that um, this, this team, uh, as it currently stands, is it, we can't run the risk of us trying to fight through and avoiding relegation again next season. We need to be at least mid-table next season um, to feel like we're making some advancement, if we survive. If we survive, obviously. Now, if we go down, then, then yeah, this team probably is better than the team that came out last time, so we'll probably just stick with them and bring them back up again, hopefully. But if we um, if we stay up, we've got to make a few changes. I mean, I definitely want to keep most of the youngsters, the ones that have good promise and things like that, because we still think they're going to be good enough to, to be amazing for us eventually. But we need some support around them. Come on, guys. Don't give one back. Come on. They're man down. They're man down. We gave one back. Ah, uh, frustrating. Get one back here, guys. Get one back here. Get one back here. Get one back here. No. 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 Not even close. All right, it's all right. Although the highlight is... Never mind. What in the world? I literally, like, blinked for a second, and I looked back, and I'm like, oh my goodness, the highlight's still going. What in the world? Peters saving the day here for us. McNeil gets it up to Peters. Peters just threads the needle there between two guys, and then just extremely incredible shot there. All righty. This team wants to stay up, apparently. I appreciate the effort from the boys. Uh, it would really be nice if some other results would go our way, though, to kind of take some pressure off us going against Norwich here in a bit. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I meant to swap out McNeil. All right, that's okay. He's been playing well. Apparently, the injury's not hurting him that bad because he's actually... Okay, now it's, now it's hurting. <laughs> All right, that's no worries. No worries. All right, Asante or Yates. Now we're we'll bringing Asante in here. And then we'll go ahead and do another sub here. We'll bring Billows out on his yellow. Bring McDonald in. 
And we'll go with that. All right, guys, come on. Come on, guys, hold on. We need... See, Barnsley's not going to lose. Oh, we really needed them to lose. And Bolton, Bolton's drawing. That's that's a good result for us. Because that puts them too far away to catch us. So it really is just Barnsley that can catch us. Uh, and Preston's losing. Man, we really needed Barnsley to lose. Because that two points is just too too close, right? Because all they have to do is win and we lose in the last game and then and it's over. Um, My goodness, Mons. 6.0? Oh, because of a mistake that he had. All right, that's fair. Let's bring Chai in. Um, honestly, we're going to save our last two subs for later in the game. Lloyd with the ball here. Gets it right back. There's Munz pushing up to McDonald. McDonald, easy go. Easy go all day. <laughs> oh, what? How is that offsides? That did not look like offsides to me. At all. Montgomery over to McDonald. McDonald just gets tackled, but going to be able to get possession back, it looks like. McDonald gets it across. Oh, there was Bennett there, but not able to get on the end of that. Holder gets it back up to McDonald. McDonald going to try for a goal again. This time it counts. Try calling that one offsides. Yeah, that's what I thought. That his first goal, really, of the season? I mean, he scored twice in this game. Granted, one of them didn't count. But he obviously wanted it that badly. So, that's awesome. Thank you, McDonald, for showing up today. All right. We'll choose our last two transfers at the 80-minute mark. Looks like we definitely got this game locked in here. Montgomery, do we have anybody coming for you? Um, we can move Lloyd up. And then bring on probably Fish. Yeah, Fish. And one last sub, maybe a striker. Yates for Owusu. That looks good to me. All right, let's end this, guys. And, man, I really wish Barnsley had at least drawn. If they had drawn... Then we, it's all within our control at that point. That's rough. We're going to have to draw against Norwich. It's going to come down to the last game, guys. It's going to come down to the very, very last game. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Nah. They're giving away late goals like that. Consolation goals. That's right. We had a good run. Good game. Not super worried about it. Took care of business today, guys. Uh, we got one more game. I guess I guess we couldn't have won it today, or like I said, won it. We couldn't have stayed up today because that would have made the last game not exciting enough, right? Oh, this is going to be such a tough final game against Norwich. Norwich playing so well. We just need a draw. Don't see it happening. I'll be honest. Don't see it happening. Uh, has Norwich got anything to play for? No, they're they're done. They're locked into playoffs. There's really nothing for them to play for. That doesn't mean they're not going to bring their best team, but it's not like they're playing for spot, you know second place or anything like that. Um, it really comes down to who Barnsley plays the last game, right? My goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Well, we are going to be relegated, guys. I'm sorry. I was hoping we wouldn't. We are absolutely getting relegated because they, they play the they play the team that's already relegated. Like, they don't even care anymore. I cannot believe we're going to get relegated here at the last game just like that. I don't see us. I don't see us drawing against Norwich. And Barnsley's got an easy, easy game. I mean, hopefully Preston goes out and plays, plays spoiler here. But I think Barnsley... Is feeling pretty good about winning and getting into the uh, getting out of relegation. We came close. We literally one point, one point away. I mean, it's not over yet. Obviously, if we're gonna 
we're gonna play it out here but i don't think this is gonna happen so we're right back for the last game of the season possibly our last game in the championship for a little while all right we're back for the final game of the season here uh we had a really good team meeting in fact let me go show you um if we go look at the dynamics really good team meeting club atmosphere is feeling good uh manager air support's pretty good so from a dynamic standpoint we're about as good as we're gonna get i mean i wish team cohesion was higher but that's all right we'll work around that but everything else being pretty good is 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 feeling feeling like we're gonna have the best chance we have of doing something here um we do need to figure out our team though so conquo of course and go billows billows on the left instead of chukwuma no we're gonna bring chukwuma in chukwuma played well in that last game chukwuma gets the start uh lloyd and taylor in the middle is that what we want not super happy with Lloyd right now. Don't really have a lot of other options that could possibly play better right now. I mean, I really wish Kenyon was doing better. He just been kind of floppy this year. <sighs> I think we're going to have to go with what we got, unfortunately. Um, McDonald on that right-hand side. Yeah, that's fine. Phyllis can come in as a backup for that right-hand side if we need him to. Um, actually, we could always put Bill in, in front of... Um, Lloyd here. You know what? Let's go for it. Montgomery Munn's ahead of them. I think I'm okay with those two. Uh, we got... We want Peters on the left for sure. 100%. And then we want... We really want James Jones on the right, but I'm pretty sure he is re-injured himself. Like literally a day ago. Which is very frustrating. Like what kind of injury does he have? Tight calf. Ah. All right. Well, no James Jones. Uh, I really don't think I want Talbot either, though, to be perfectly honest. Although, his average rating is 7.06 for the uh, eight games he's played. You know what? We'll bring him. We'll give Talbot a chance. And then Bennett uh, Wusso up front. Okay. I guess I'm okay with this. Anybody else we really want to bring in to the bench? Not really. Nobody else is really jumping out at me as somebody who is playing well enough to get in here. So, here we go. This is the team. Uh, interesting of note, uh, the top two teams, Swansea and Bournemouth, I think, are playing each other today as well. So, the title uh, of the championship here is up for grabs still. So, this can be an interesting game to keep an eye on. All right, guys, come on. A draw. Not impossible. Not impossible. We really, really, really are rooting for uh, Preston today, though. I mean, away from home, this is going to be such a hard game. Preston doesn't have to win. They just need to draw. Come on, guys. Keep up the effort here. I mean, you could argue that we shouldn't be attacking in this game. Maybe we should just hold out for the draw, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go out fighting. We're gonna go out swinging here. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a zero highlights would definitely be the way to to get the result we're looking for. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so um, keep that up. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, it's not going to be kept up. Free kick coming in from Norwich. It is a highlight, which means it's going to be a goal. Yeah, it is. Okay. There goes our hopes of staying in the championship. Down of the drain, I think. I mean, we knew it was going to happen. It's not like it's a surprise or anything. Be nice if they made a mistake right here, but I don't see it happening. If anything, I see them coming down the other end and just scoring a goal real quick. Come on, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, guys. Oh, Peters with a takeaway. 
Can he get it to somebody? He cannot. Oh, Owusu! Owusu! Just score it! Just score it! Just score it! What? Oh, Owusu with like... I mean, he has not done a lot since we got him on board. And that is... That could be... I mean, don't get me wrong. Norwich still got the capability to run down and get a go here in the next 30 minutes. But for all we know, that could be the goal that saves our season right there. And that that's awesome. That's the most important goal of Wusu scored all season right there. All righty. Well, that's good. Poor Miss Swansea still, still drawn. Hmm. All right. McDonald needs to come out on his yellow. Lloyd. Nope. Oh, Lloyd's going to come in, but Bill is going to swap over. And, and Chakum is playing poorly today as well. All right, all right. We're going to bring Whittingham. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Come on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here's a go. Uh, kick from Lloyd. Get it to Bennett. Bennett. Bennett won player of the month last season. He's, he played five games and scored uh, and scored five goals. I mean, of course, it's Adam Ida. He's only got 12 goals this season. Bennett's actually scored more goals than Adam Ida. That's surprising. That was a stupid, stupid bad play. It would really be painful to, for this game to end on such a stupid bad play like that. Norwich does not need that kind of help. They're good enough that they can do this without that help. Talbot gets it over to Peters. Peters getting the ball up to Bennett. Bennett, can you do something with this? Gets it over to Montgomery. Montgomery gets it back over to Bennett. Get Bennett gets up to Owusu. Oh, what a save. What a save. Oh, he was offsides anyway. Didn't matter. Okay. Montgomery's getting tired. Chai comes in. Talbot has played poorly, even though he's motivated. So he comes out for Asante. Alrighty. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Do I encourage them? I'm going to try and encourage them. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Okay, that, that, that did not backfire. All right, last sub of the game. I mean, Munz is the only one that's like tired out there right now. Don't really everybody can come in for him though. Uh, we could bring, we could bring Lloyd up and we will bring, we'll bring Will Fish in here. All right, that'll be our last sub. Come on, guys. Something. Anything. Anything. Maybe I should have gone very attacking, but... I don't know. I don't know. They... I mean, at the, right there, when our time ran out, Barnsley and Preston were still drawn. Uh, did we do it, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, I'm too scared to hit the next screen. Oh... I think we played well today. Honestly, I think we can hold our heads high. We had made one big mistake. It cost us the draw. <sighs> Barnsley drew against Preston. Oh my goodness. Actually, Bournemouth and Swansea drew as well. So Swansea does take the, the win there. But both of them go up. Oh my goodness. We survived, guys, by the absolute skin of our teeth there. Wow. Well, I still have a job, <laughs> I think, I assume. I did exactly what I said I would, barely, but I did it. Don't matter if you avoid relegation by an inch or a mile. Avoiding relegation is avoiding relegation. Um, yeah, okay, oof. Oh man, that's, that, that was nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. That was nerve wracking. We are gonna have to take a serious look at this squad because this squad, just not going to be good enough to, uh, I mean, unless they have like massive potential, pretty much anybody below 6.7 is probably going to go bye-bye. I mean, McDonald might make the cut because he's got a lot of potential. A Lloyd Wright holder might make the cut still. 
anybody further down though uh thomas asante will fish uh matko any of these guys down here are gonna have to go bye bye we've got to use that money for just better players so well, the transfer special for this is going to be insane and we've got to get some money all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go forward until we can see um mcdonald were you the one i i just said i wanted to keep right yeah 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 you got you got potential um we need to get this money because we owe we owe lloyd i think a contract is lloyd when we want to keep lloyd is lloyd's one we want to keep as well he's got four and a half star potential so we'd like to try to keep lloyd we'd like to try to keep um mcdonald Gotta see these budgets. Record low, no, high number of league defeats. Yeah, it's insane. Squad planning for next season. We, yeah, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Did we not get our budgets yet? Did I miss him? No. Bonus is paid out. There we go. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not great. It's not great at all. They're barely giving us any wage budget at all. And the only thing I can do is just pump all that in there. I mean, it's basically a 20%, 25% increase in our wage budget. <laughs> I mean, it's going to have to be good enough, obviously, but it's not great. All right, so contract. What? Why can't we negotiate a contract with you? What? Why can't we enter a contract with you? Contract. Okay, that's weird. I think that other menu just had something weird. All right, what do you want? Can we lower you a little bit? Okay, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get some sort of contract. Right now you're making 1200 I mean, this is a big boost on your contract. And I don't know that you necessarily deserve it based on your play, but we're basically paying you for your potential. I mean, somebody wants to come pay 7.25 mil for him. Gladly would accept that. Yeah, there we go. Kind of down a little bit. And then uh, McDonald, we want to get a contract with you. That is a massive wage. And we got him down a little bit. I don't know that he deserves that much, to be honest. He just... But again, we're paying for potential. And we think he's got potential to be good, so... I mean, the wage is going to have to be locked in. Got him down a little bit. I mean, is it worth as much? Probably not, but he's got, he does have potential. Um, I mean, he did play 6.69 in a season that we were playing poorly. So <laughs> maybe if we get less of these 6.5s and 6.4s, he just looks better. So 6.9 is, is right on the line. So I'm not super happy with that, but I think it's going to be okay. I mean, he does become basically our highest played player. We've got to go through some of these other guys and just have a serious think about anybody that we could just sell on for something. Um, this guy, w Whittingham, I think he's pretty much gone. Other guys like that. So we'll be doing that during the transfer window. 
Uh, for now, though, that's it, guys. We survived. Barely, barely, barely survived. Can All we need to do next year is just get mid-table. I'd be happy with, you know, somewhere in here. That's all I need. All I need is just something mid-table. If we go look at their XG, I'm actually kind of curious. I mean, we're 17th from X, XG. Um, so, I mean, I'd be happy with 17th. Next, I mean, it's not maybe as big of a step up as I would like, but if we got 17th next year, uh, if we got like 55 points, yeah, I can live with 55 points. I don't mind living in the championship for a couple seasons until we can kind of get the board used to the idea that we deserve more money. So we'll see. All right, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.